wiring's new. It's got surge brakes. I will not uh, say whether or not they work. I haven't really had the opportunity to tow it very far. Um, this does function fine, but could use uh, probably a new one. It was about $100 for the new style that has uh, a strap instead of a cable. It's got uh, a safety chain under there. The crank for the trailer works fine. Um, this, although it is sticking out, it's tight. Um, on the inside, you'll see it's it's a bit uh, it's a bit old for the wood there. This is all in good shape up here. This is what a lot of the little mounting wood looks like on everything. It's not rotten per se, um, but it's also not fresh looking. New wheels and tires all around on the trailer. Um, the hull is pretty good. Here's a there's a chip in the covering right there. It's painted underneath. A couple little marks here and there just from going up and down on the trailer. Still pretty pretty good set of paint on there from I don't know how long ago. New um new bilge pump discharge. There's some rub marks. These were all, you know, over the course of its life. You can make that out. That's the hole number. Take a look around. Your transducer. Okay, and we'll take a look inside the stern drive. This is the, uh, you can kind of see the milkiness to the, to the uh, grease there. And that's the bearing that was mentioned that needs to be changed. It's the one that the output shaft rides in. Um, this sort of caked up stuff here is from a slow hydraulic leak. And that was another thing to be fixed. Exhaust bellows. All this was to be replaced as well as the raw water inlet and the shift cable. Uh, you can make out there the shift cables kind of, it's, uh, it's a bit rusty and needs to be replaced. All of this before the stern drive was taken off did function though, steering as well. Um, solid as far as if you went to uh, rotate the stern drive left and right. There was no play in it whatsoever. Let's see. The drain. Trailer from behind. These LED lights are new. Climb up in it. Start up at the bow. It's the configuration there. This is, um, I think, original vinyl. And here's our locker down in here. That's an anchor. Um, pretty decent shape. I haven't cleaned it yet this year. Um, and it's been basically stored outside all winter. So, I'm not intending to include the fenders or any of the lines or anything you see here. Those don't come with the boat. <clears throat> if you do some reading online uh, about the Chesapeake boats, it's 22. You can see this is the speckled interior as opposed to finished. What that indicates is that this has wood stringers as opposed to fiberglass stringers. Um, as far as I can tell, they are in good shape though. It seems like it's very solid. So there's a little bit of storage space underneath this seat. There's a crack. There's a crack in the windshield right there. So let's see if we can look on top. Here's the top. Um, this light works. The mechanism to put the uh, radio antenna up works pretty well. That solar panel there is cracked in the center. Um, so I suspect that it does not do anything as far as charging any battery. All these marks on the hole that you are on the uh, on the inside that you see here actually are just dirt, and they'll come off. They'll come off with a just a pressure wash. Um, once it's washed, it looks really pretty clean. It's got numerous rod holders and stuff like that. Here's the gas cap. Gas tank is under here. Um, Got a new fuel sender and the tank is clean on the inside now. Uh, let's see, radio overhead. It does work. Let's see if we can. Maybe. 
can hear it, but some this little air horn and whatever else, and there's space up there. It has these lights, they do function, but they're you know at this point they're an old style, they're not LED or anything like that. Okay, the helm. This is all this is all original stuff. meter the fuel does work I put a new sender in um, this requires some sort of adjustment that you can do it's kind of on the uh, stern side of the engine there's a sensor in there that gives you this angle okay down in here it's that 12 volt outlet a couple of spare parts for it um, There's new fuses in here. Um, all the switches are good except for the, the bilge pump. I put a new one in, that's why it looks different. Um, along with a new bilge pump. <clears throat> Storage under here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's the seat. It does do the forward and backwards flip. It's got a semi cooler in it. Needs cleaning. Back here, battery box and battery are new, as well as new uh, cable connections all around. <clears throat> Where are we going there? Storage boxes inside, they do drain. Okay, motor. Um, pretty simple. This is a Volvo AQ171C. Uh, it's a double overhead cam, 2.5 liter, and it's about 165 or 170 horsepower, I believe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, new bilge pump is down there. Uh, this uses, sort of like a car, uses antifreeze through the block. Uh, this is the heat exchanger in here. And uh, looking on the inside of it, it was in fast, fantastic condition. Uh, clean shining metal all throughout. <clears throat> Excuse me. The exhaust, uh, it's rusty here because I never painted it, but this is just surface rust. Um, <clears throat> it was in pretty rough shape as far as the condition that it looked. <clears throat> uh, it's cleaned up nicely. It might be a little hard to see here. This part here is, <clears throat> excuse me, a bracket or like a, a flange that goes from the exhaust to the outlet pipe. And that was cracked. I had to braze it because I could not locate a new one. <clears throat> Come around to this side. <clears throat> one part that needed to be sort of jury rigged here was the cap for the raw water inlet strainer. I couldn't get a new one of those and it'd crack in it. So it's got a fair amount of JB Weld stuff on it. Um, raw water pump here, um, new gaskets, new um, sort of rubber washers all around. The impeller is new and the bushing inside is new. Alternator is new. Uh, belt is new. <coughs> Starter's new. The, um, this is the fuel pump. It's a mechanical fuel pump, old style, and that's new. The carburetors up here have been uh, cleaned and uh, replaced some of the gaskets and the jets and stuff in there with new ones because I had them in a kit. Um, I haven't cleaned them out this year. I haven't tried to start it or anything. This is a... <clears throat> Let me turn the phone here so we can see. Fuel water separator is new. I'm not sure if you can make that out. This is the housing for the um, shift cable. You'd want to... When the shift cable is changed, there's, that'll be fixed. Here's a... A separate fuel filter I put on just to ensure I wasn't going to send bad fuel or dirt into the carbs. There's a priming pump, brand new, um, brand new in inlet ducts. <clears throat> Let's see, the blower works. The blower is right there. Rocket launchers. And some of the bad stuff here, not bad, but 
uh, this kind of trim stuff is all loose and coming coming up. I'm not uh, experienced with fixing that, so I haven't. Um, let's go back up here. If you're going to keep this in a slip, I think you'd be fine for a really long time. But if you're going to um, launch off a boat ramp or something, I would replace I would replace that uh, sort of what is that a pad eye or something that goes in there for the winch. <clears throat> Let's look at the. So we've got our shift cable. I won't move because it's not attached to anything. But then there's the throttle, uh, a compass. Here's a mount for a Garmin. Uh, it's not functional. I've still got it, but it's got to be 20 years old, so it does not work. And um, that's about it. I mean, the the boat is about as simple as it gets. Um, and in pretty decent shape for what it is needs that work on the stern drive and i think it'll be ready to go all pretty solid There's a fair number of little rub marks especially on on this side here's a a bit of it's not like a structural crack but it's just in the surface and that's probably about it.